Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Will here. I've been learning Mandarin for three years and I just share my kind of experiences and learning methods, etc., on this, on these uh, YouTube videos. In this video, I want to talk about a new project that I'm going to be starting over the next few weeks and just to see, gather your guys' thoughts on it and see what you guys think. Okay, so I'm, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, but in all honesty, I just haven't dared try because I'm a bit scared. But um, so I'm going to be starting doing my own like Mandarin video podcast. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to do it as a podcast as well that can go on separate podcasts like um, platforms, for example, Spotify and stuff. I haven't really thought about that just yet. But for the moment, we're going to be starting on YouTube. And what this is going to involve is uh, every week I'm going to try and invite one of my friends or like um, an established Mandarin learner who's done a really good job of learning Mandarin and also experts in the field, etc. I'm going to be inviting them to come and talk to me and just have a chat and just see what we can talk about, what we can learn from them. And at the same time, just practice Mandarin, you know. Um, there's a few things to point out here. Obviously, I'm not a native speaker, uh, so I would occasionally make mistakes. However, in the case that I have make, made a mistake, that will like influence other people because obviously I don't want to send anyone down the wrong way and then learning Mandarin, you know. I don't want them to get any bad habits from me. So if in the case that I do make a mistake, and hopefully that won't be too often, but we'll see, <laughs> um, I will try and make that very clear or I'm sure the person I invite onto the podcast will be more than happy to correct me as the majority of people that I'm going to be inviting are going to be native speakers. So why am I actually doing this? Um, I've got a few reasons for this. Firstly, I found that on YouTube, I'm making a lot of content. However, most of the content is saying the same thing in just a different way every time. So I feel that like I've at this point, I've basically told everyone my learning method. I've been like, look, I'm being transparent. This is how I've learned Mandarin. This is, these are the kind of things that I've done and this is what I continue to do to this day. However, every time I'm making a video, I'm just saying it in a slightly different way. So I wanna try and do something a bit different and see how that goes really. And as well for me, I really actually enjoy like just chatting to people and learning from other people. And if I can do that as at the same time providing like some listening material for people who are learning Mandarin, you know, that's, that's great. And that's like a yifu liang du, like it's like killing two birds with one stone. So yeah, that's the plan, and that's why I want to do it. Next, let's talk about like what kind of topics we're going to be talking about. So this is going to depend on who I talk to. Obviously, I'd really like your guys' input, your thoughts on what I should be doing, what kind of content I should be producing, and what kind of things would be interesting for you. Uh, so please do let me down, know in the comments below. Also, I'm going to be trying to invite some Chinese teachers onto the podcast as well uh, so that I can get their kind of experiences of teaching Mandarin and what has worked for learners and kind of what are the characteristics of a good learner of Mandarin Chinese, like what kind of people succeed in their opinion from their experience over the years. I think that will be really interesting. I'll also be inviting some Chinese um, friends who have or teachers who have learned English to a very, very high level. Um, so yeah, I won't, I won't give anything away here. I've got a few lined up. So I'm going to be looking at doing that too. I think that's about it. I think I've kind of introduced the podcast here. I hope you guys like the idea and I hope you guys can support me in this. Just a couple more things about the actual podcast itself. Like I won't be adding English subtitles for two reasons. One, I don't really have the time to do so. You know, it takes an awful long time to translate a 40 minute video into English because that's probably how long some of these podcasts are going to be. Secondly, I don't think there's any need. I would really hope that you guys can like try and get used to tolerating amb ambiguity in language learning and not understanding everything. You know, that's okay. As long as you're understanding 80, 90%, hopefully more, then that's not a big problem. And you can still learn from that. Also, I think it's good practice in general to try and not just rely on English subtitles. So this is another reason as to why I don't intend on adding them. But I really hope that won't like affect the <laughs> How many people you know get involved in this podcast or watch it etc so yeah i kind of rambled on for too long today i really hope you guys are interested in this idea and you guys can support me and you know leave some comments as to what kind of topics you'd like to come up what you'd like to see on this project and if you guys have got any other ideas also i, I would like to add that i'm not doing this instead of my other youtube videos it's just another thing 
um, that I'll probably be investing more time into. So if you still do have any questions or anything you'd like me to make a video on and put on YouTube, please do let me know because I will still continue to do that, however, probably less frequently than I have been. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, let me know in the comments what you guys want, want from the podcast. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.